So now I need to change some uh, or edit some some uh, arguments inside inside uh, our template. Uh, first thing I need to change the uh, this plain text uh, to make this uh, dynamic. So we can just display the name of our uh, of our uh, website. So if we go to header and let's go to where is it? Subscribe large. Okay. So basically, we need to uh, blog info. And then the name of our uh, of our templates, blog info. And let's save. And let's get back. And let's reload. And now we have the this WP Bootstrap uh, name. So we can change that from uh, from the settings from here. You can call it uh, whatever you want, so I will keep it large. And also, you can change the uh, description or the tagline. Uh, so you can go to, you know, let's change this from this from the firehouse uh, to make this dynamic. Also, so let's go to uh, here and go to. Say for index now. So let's change that into blog info description. Okay, so let's save. Let's get back and let's uh, let's reload for now. Just another WordPress uh, site. We can change that from here. So it was uh, what it was. I forgot. Oops. Uh, another Firebase or something like that. Of course, you can, you can, you can change it and put whatever you want inside it. So we save. And let's get back and reload. Now we, we have this dynamic uh, information com coming from from our uh, from our dashboard. Okay. Also, I noticed that we forgot to add the comments into our uh, blog blog post. So we need to add comments down here. So if we go to uh, let's close these. If we go to uh, single, and also we need to change. You know what? I will I will grab these and make this inside inside one file later on, just after uh, after add the comments. So first, let's add. We are inside here, so in the contents. So down here, okay, we can add. Uh, let's add a comments. So to add comments, first we need to check if we have comments or if the comments is open uh, for for this template. Okay, you can basically change the uh, settings inside your your theme and make the comments enabled or disabled. So uh, basically, we need to check. If comments open, okay, or get comments number and let's, oops, let's close the if statements and if. Okay, and then we can put uh, the comments templates. 
So if we save and get back into our blog and reload, and now we have this uh, comments, uh, we have this comments comments section. Okay, basically we need to uh, to add to add a custom comments template inside our theme. You see that this this uh, uh, this notice or this warning uh, inside our theme. So basically, we can uh, we can do that if we go to let's check out that out in um, WP. Oops, I forgot. Uh, I've lost the power. Um, I've lost the electricity. So uh, I'll pause the video for now. Okay, so. Um, Sorry if you if you find some some uh, noise uh, in the voice background uh, because I uh, plugged in the laptop my laptop into uh, into the power generator so it may it may, it may uh, cause some noise uh, in the voice background uh, sorry about that uh, let's uh, we were looking for uh, WP comments or custom comments let's look for these uh, let's get into handbook okay so let's expand the Basically, we can uh, create a comments.php file inside our theme, uh, and we add these options into that uh, into that file. Um, basically, I I think we have a better example. Let's go to here. Yeah, this is it. This is, uh, here we can uh, basically let's get into our templates. Let's uh, inside the folder. Let's create comments. Dot PHP file. And let's uh, say we need a div for comments templates. Maybe. Okay. And here we can uh, we can add an H4. With uh, display display for bootstrap comments. Okay. So down here we can add uh, some PHP. So uh, here it's uh, we have these these options or arg arguments so let's basically copy these let's paste that in and then we need to call this uh, walker so we need to add this uh, I think we need to add the arguments so let's add the WP list comments WP list comments. Oops. And inside here we pass our args, which is this args array. And also we need to add or pass comments. So let's we'll save. Let's get back into our templates and let's reload. Now we have comments, and, but don't have any any comments form. So we have comments templates. Okay. Uh, we need to add maybe we, uh, we 
need to add the comments form options so let's so if we get back uh, into here and see the documentation uh, I think we have comments form those comments comments form which is Yes, here, comment form, and basically you need to call this uh, and pass uh, the arguments into it. So let's uh, call this comment form. And we have arguments, which is these arguments. So let's get into one of the basic examples and uh, let's see we have these arguments. So yeah let's grab this this basic example. Let's copy that. Let's get back into our into here. And let's get down here and paste that in. Okay. We need to add PHP tags. Okay. So basically, we are first calling this uh, WP list comments, uh, passing these arguments here, and then we we uh, have this comment form. Uh, function uh, that will fetch these uh, arguments so this will change the title of the send button uh, you have these uh, this change the title of the replace section and these will uh, remove the text or the HTML displayed after the set of common fields um, there's there's multiple uh, we will take a look on these options after just testing the the form so let's get back and reload and now we have this uh, basic uh, basic replay or comments form so uh, right replay or comment so we can just first uh, we are already logged in I already logged in as admin here so let's uh, post post and let's send Okay, we have these uh, this replay, which is displaying this uh, comments. Uh, we can add some options. We can uh, make this. Let's see, we have these. We can add some options actually. Maybe you can add some. We can add some classes here, some Bootstrap classes. So uh, let's make. Is, uh, let's add a uh, border. Okay, so let's add border, border, uh, rounded, small, and maybe we can add border secondary uh, to make this uh, color of that border. And also we need to add uh, a padding of four and the margin top of uh, two and margin bottom of two. Let's add the, the top of four. Okay, let's save that and check that. Check that here. Let's reload. Okay, now we have this. Uh, comments we can also check uh, border small rounded I think small 
Okay, so uh, basically you can um, uh, you can style your form uh, depending on uh, on the basic structure here. You can um, change these style. You can change the depth. You can basically you can get rid of these. Uh, you can uh, change the size of the avatar, which is this this image avatar here. Uh, you can. Uh, you can do a lot of things actually. If you uh, if you go to uh, the basic one of the basic examples uh, uh, for the uh, uh, let's see we have wp comments you can see the documentation here and see that we have uh, multiple uh, basic examples. You expand these of these if you go into here okay this uh, complete example you can grab this and and uh, organize it and display it however you want inside your uh, inside your templates okay uh, so but this is the basic uh, way uh, of displaying uh, comment forms uh, of the, or the comment form inside uh, inside your template okay uh, I hope I'm not confused but uh, I'm, I got confused actually after the power got off um, I'm sorry about that but I, I hope that uh, that works good uh, let's just uh, make these uh, dynamic so uh, we can grab them and display them display that inside uh, inside footer maybe we can include these inside the footer so let's get rid of these okay save and let's also in the page let's get rid of this side tag And in the footer, as you can see, we can basically we can put that uh, aside or that uh, widgets uh, called before the main. Okay, so if we go to uh, the index and see that we have this uh, side tag, so let's let's grab these into the row here from the aside down to the row the in tag of the row so let's cut that and let's get back into our footer and just above the main tag let's paste that paste that in and let's save then let's get back into our templates and let's reload and that should have, which is not because uh, we forgot something actually. Let's get back. We forgot what we, what we forgot. Let's get rid of these. We forgot. So I noticed that uh, in the single uh, single template for for our post, uh, we just don't uh, we already import the sidebar into, into the footer, okay, and then in the row here. So basically, we need to uh, make sure to remove this in tag for the row. So uh, the the column of this uh, of this block main will be uh, separated of the 
other column of the uh, side okay so you need you need just basically to remove the row in tag from here and then let's reload and now you can see that we have we have the side which is uh, on the on the side of that of this uh, of this post okay also for the comments section let's add some uh, separated uh, let's add here let's add some space maybe not the HBO, let's just add an HR separated line and this is better and I think for the uh, comments um, I will grab the this example so let's grab this and let's get back and for the comments I will see just grabbing everything okay so let's just replace everything uh, in here and paste that here Oops, what do I do? Let's copy this. Let's place that here, okay? So you can you can um, you can change the information here so you can bootstrap uh, WP log and you can also put your name the other information also you can change the avatar to let's see 30 um, you can change the style also you can add the other uh, the other options and uh, you can add here for example let's add some border and border secondary and padding of four, and also I want uh, rounded, small, and also we can uh, add margin top of four. Let's add it for the top and bottom. Let's check it back. Let's reload. Okay. Um, see, we have border secondary, and for surrounded here. Save. Check that. Okay, it's better. You can you can do whatever you want actually for the styling. Uh, completely up to you. Let's see the comment. Okay. So I think that's I think that's it for the comment section and for the sidebar. Sorry about the confusion and the um, interruption. Uh, I got confused about after the electricity current uh, got off uh, sorry about that uh, sorry about the noise maybe in the background of, of my voice uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one